From feral cats to a friendly feline to a grumpy internet sensation, humans have long had a complex, often mutually beneficial relationship with cats. Now in a DNA study released by the journal Nature, Ecology, and Evolution, researchers are learning how cats spread in the ancient human world. The study is the latest look at how wild cats became relatively tame and learned to live among people. Domestication may have begun 10,000 years ago as people settled in the Fertile Crescent, which includes the land around the Tigris and Euphrates River. It were the first farmers that invented agriculture, and this means they accumulated grains, probably more and more larger and larger amounts of grains, and these grains, of course, attracted rodents, and the rodents attracted wildcats. Researchers extracted DNA from bones, teeth, hair, and skin from 209 ancient cats as old as 9,000 years from areas like Europe, Africa, and Asia, as well as 28 modern feral cats. The study of the cat DNA found evidence of two major waves of movement from the Middle East in which people took cats with them. Over time, the wild felines adapted to the man-made environment and got used to being around people. So it was a commensal relationship that started to get established. But it took certainly more than um, several thousands of years until the cat really became, ca came into a domestic context. The team also studied ancient Egyptian cat mummies. Researchers say the appearance of domesticated cats in Egypt means they had traveled there by sea. Since we know that there was trading contact between Egypt and India during the Roman Empire, this again tells us that these cats were ship's cats. So they traveled with the merchants over the sea. Mona Khalil is the chairperson of the Egyptian Society of Mercy to Animals in Cairo. She says the fact that the ancient Egyptians mummified cats showed they had a special status in their society. Ancient Egyptians worshipped cats in large, and Egyptian cats specifically uh, was very appreciated to the level of being worshipped and mummified, just like what they did with the pharaohs themselves, or ev for anything that had value for them. Thousands of years later, cats still hold a special place in people's homes and hearts. Kathy Young, Associated Press.